This is Melissa from DJ Event Planner, and today we're covering the changelog topics from December 5th through December 26th, 2022. To begin, we will look at the features that have been added with this update. First, let's go to Financial, then Payroll. We have added an Export button to the Payroll Report page. This will allow you to download a file of the payroll information and open it in Excel. Under Setup, Emails, then Settings, we have added the ability to test the Master Administrator account when choosing the Test Employee Connections button. Custom Date Range Pricing has now been added to the Instant Quote feature. Custom Date Range Pricing was added to the software in a previous update, however it only worked when manually adding an event. This now works on the Instant Quote system also. To set up custom date range prices, go to Setup, Packages, View the Package, then click Edit. In the Financials section, you'll see a button that says Create Date-Based Custom Pricing. Here you can add as many custom date ranges as you'd like. Once you have your custom pricing set up, when your clients fill out your instant quote form on your website and choose a date in that custom pricing date range, the software will automatically show the discounted price. And now onto the changes that have taken place in this time period. For e-signature expiration, if no valid date is found in the contract sent date, the date generated value is used as the contract sent date. And we have made a number of UI changes within the software, including increasing the display limit of past and upcoming events, changes to page load speeds, and equipment manager lists. And finally, here are the items that were fixed during this update, December 6th through December 26th, 2022. As always, you can find the latest updates to our change log by logging into your DJ Event Planner account and clicking on the Support Options button on the left-hand menu. You can also view the change log in full window view by clicking on View the Change Log option.